Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the F405 Mini HD2, a new 20x20mm flight controller by Skystars. In this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs and test it out using a new build in which I'm going to use a 5 inch frame by Skystars, the Skystars Kramam 45A Mini BLD32 ESC and the new Rush FPV Farouk 2505.5 2000kb motors, which by the way I'm going to thrust test in an upcoming video. First of all, in terms of packaging, along with the flight controller, you are getting a harness that is going to enable you to connect the flight controller directly to the DJI Air Unit, 5 extra M3 to M2 rubber grommets, in addition to the ones that are pre-inserted to the M3 mounting holes of the flight controller, pin headers, and two harnesses that you'll be able to adjust according to your preference using two JST connectors for connecting the flight controller to a 4 in 1 ESC. As for its specs, the F405 Mini HD2 flight controller features six full UART ports, an onboard barometer, an F4 processor, an OSD chip for using it with analog cameras, 5 volts and 10 volts 2 amperes BECs. A dedicated JST connector for connecting it to the DJI unit using the provided harness. It can be powered with up to 6S batteries and unfortunately it is using a micro USB connector and not USB Type-C. In addition, it's using 20 by 20 mm M3 mounting holes which are reduced to M2 using the pre-installed rubber grommets. Its outer dimensions are 30.8 by 32 by 6.5 mm and it weighs 6.1 grams. The next thing that I've done is to assemble the flight controller along with the 4-in-1 ESC on this 5-inch frame. However, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to fully test and review the F405 Mini HD2 flight controller in this video, simply because the harness that was provided with the 4-in-1 ESC, which again is made by Skystars, is not compatible with the flight controller without modifying the order of the 8 pins connector. So basically what happened is that the battery voltage was provided to the wrong pin on the flight controller and now after rewiring the harness, as you can see the MCU is getting extremely hot so although it's working I can't trust this flight controller anymore. Now of course I partially blame myself for this mistake as I should have made sure that the layout of both 4-in-1 ESC and flight controller are the same and if I would have done so this mistake could have been prevented but of course when you are getting the 4-in-1 ESC and flight controller from the same company this mistake can happen so if there's anything that you should take from this video is that you should always make sure that your connectors are properly wired even though the peripherals are made by the same company. I also recommend, as I always do, to power your build for the first time using this short sever device and even though on that case I did use the short sever for powering the stack, this error was not prevented, the flight controller was not completely fried, but as I just showed you, it is now unusable. Anyway, that's going to be it for this short video. Stay tuned for the next one in which I'm going to test this build with a new flight controller. As always, I thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you liked this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye. <music>